Hey guys, welcome to LaRock's Cooking Adventures. I'm today's host, LaRock, and today I'm going to show you guys how I assemble a deep dish meat pizza. Okay, before we get started, I'd like to shout out my subscribers, current subscribers, the guys who just recently subscribed to this channel, and those of you who stumbled across this channel and watched our content. Also, mega love shout out to the people who actually joined this channel and who are now members. Thank you much. Let's get into this. All right, guys, what we have for this recipe is we use Wifey LaRock's pizza dough recipe, which I'll leave a card to. We have some low moisture mozzarella. We have some pepperonis. We have LaRock's deep dish meat sauce, which consists of ground beef, sausage, peppers, and onions. We have a little bit of butter to coat our 10 inch pan and a little bit of flour to roll out your dough, okay? All right, let's get into this. Okay, guys, what we're gonna do first is uh, roll out this dough. So I'm gonna drop a little bit of flour here, like that. Now, while we're rolling out this dough, we have our oven preheating at 425 degrees. Like that. Put a little bit more on top. Let's get the rolling this joker out. Just want to gently roll back and forth. Okay. Make sure she's not sticking. Play with her a little bit. Now, we're going to use two pizzas of pieces of dough, right? We're going to use this one for the bottom. And then I'm going to roll out another piece for the top. We're going to make this one uh, pretty big so that it covers not only the bottom of the pan, but the sides. It's gonna, it's gonna fold over the top of this, right? That's how large you wanna roll it out. Okay, now that we have our bottom piece rolled out, you, you guys see the size of it? Okay, we're just gonna butter our pan. Like that. All right, so you guys can see how much bigger the dough is than the pan because we want it to overlap the top. All right, okay. Okay, now easy way to get your dough into the pan is just roll it over your pan. Like that. Place your pan there, lift her up, and then unroll, like that. You wanna make sure you get your dough fully fitted inside the pan. Fully fitted. Take out any air pockets that you might have in there, like that, okay? Like that, bada bing, bada boom. Look good, look good. Okay, so I have a very little bit of, as you can see, very little bit of tomato sauce. Well, your pizza sauce would be a little bit better, but I had this little bit uh, left over in my refrigerator. See how much? Very little. Just enough to coat the bottom. Look, nothing left, okay? All right, so you're just gonna spread this around the bottom. Like so. 
we're gonna add a, a little bit of mozzarella, low moisture mozzarella. Okay. Okay. Just a little bit. Just like that. And then we're gonna go in next with our meat sauce. And there is, like I said, a recipe for this meat sauce. Okay, just like that. Sorry about that little clicking noises you guys are hearing in the back. That is the uh, oven heating up. So just go ahead and uh, smash the meat sauce out. You want to make sure your meat sauce is not too wet, okay? Because if it's too wet, then it's going to make your pie wet. And we don't want wet pie, all right? All right, so you're going to continue this process until you have about a quarter of an inch of uh, meat sauce spread throughout your pan. Okay, now that we have our meat sauce all laid out in here, you want to make sure it's like an even coat, all right? Even coat all the way around. We're gonna go with a little bit of uh, mozzarella again. Like that. And then we're gonna go with the pepperoni. All right. Looks good. Pat it down a little bit. Then we'll go with our pepperonis next. And just layer them around. Depending on how, how much you like pepperoni is how much you want to put in this pie. I'm going to use all of this because I like pepperoni. So we have three meats in this uh, deep dish pie. Sausage, ground beef, and uh, pepperoni. Okay, guys, we used that whole package of five ounce uh, sliced pepperoni. Now that it's all layered out, nice. We're going to just add some more cheese. Okay. This pie is pretty much done. We're going to uh, roll out our top and then top it and then get her in the oven okay boom like that okay looking good all right guys we're gonna uh roll out that second pot to, uh pot to, second uh dough ball Top. A little bit of flour. Okay. Just gonna roll this one out. Not as large as the first one because all we want to do is cover the top, but we're not gonna overlap anything. Okay, you see I didn't roll this one out as large as I did the first one. All it's gotta cover is the top. Okay? So I'm gonna take this. Remember the trick. Like that. Okay. Like the first piece, we're gonna make sure it's nice and tough. Nice and tucked inside. Now this top piece is a little bit thicker than the crust, but that's okay. I mean, in the bottom, I'm sorry. See that, guys? All right, next what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take a little knife and then cut around the edge. This will be too much crust, okay? Okay. All right, now that we have our top on, I'm just gonna take a, a knife a rope pizza cutter and just cut this extra dough. That the rocks cooking adventure. I'll show you guys how to work. Work, 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 work. Excess out. Like 
such. You guys can save this dough, make something else out of it, like a little snack or something. Okay, now we're just gonna print these edges together. Okay, just pinch the edge together. So you know that this, um, Connected the top and the bottom. Uh, bing. Now, before we get this pie in the oven, we're gonna cut a little porthole, little vent right in the middle. You can put an X, or you can just make a little circle like I'm going to. All right, before you get this pie in the oven, just uh, pick it up, drop it a little bit, knock out any potential air bubbles, like that, okay? Now we're gonna put this in the oven at uh, 425 degrees for about, we're gonna do a minimum of 25 minutes and then check it, all right? Tricks. Tricks, you heard? There's that little porthole right there. Not too heavy with the wash. guys she is where we want to be now like i said we're just going to drop her into the uh oven temperature 425 we're going to go for 20 25 minutes then we're going to check her all right bada bing bada boom all right let's get her in the oven All right, guys, 25 minutes is up. Let's take a look at this pie. See what she looking like. Look like she's there. Yeah? Look like she's there, guys. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this up, 25 minutes. All right, so this pie is done. We're just gonna let her cool for about 20, 30 minutes before we get the cutting her open. All right? All right. Looks good. All right, guys, that's been about uh, 30, 35 minutes. She's cooled down a lot. We're just gonna cut her open, see what she looks like. Hear that? Sounds good. There you have it, the Rock's Cooking Adventures, deep dish, meat pizza, mmm, mmm, and when you guys make this recipe, I want you to email me the pictures, at the Rock's Cooking, at gmail.com, alright, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and tuning in, please if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, Hit the bell for the notification. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Peace.